Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So uh, on this video you're going to have a look at the Corsair Vengeance M65 gaming mouse. This particular one is the Arctic 1, Arctic White edition with the M65 models. Um, Corsair have actually released now three colors as opposed from the M60 model. Uh, and the three colors are the Arctic White, which is this particular one I've got here today. Uh, military green and um, a black one so obviously straight away from the M60 um, gaming mouse um, the first upgrade you can probably notice is the DPI sensor which was um, upgraded from a 5700 DPI to um, a massive 8200 DPI here for uh, superior tracking as they claim. So let me just show you around the box as you can see there. Obviously you got a dedicated sniper button for precise tracking. That's what made this uh, gaming mouse um, famous for. And uh, the E200 DPI gaming sensor with an on the fly resolution adjustment which is just great. Which is just them three buttons there with the middle be the level you actually on. Uh, that's basically just the box there. There's the black version of this mouse here. Let me just show you the back as you can just see there. That's the actual back of the mouse. These two things are the size that actually weight system which allows you to uh, configure this mouse with a, with a lighter, a heavier mouse. You know, obviously if the camera zooms in, so it'll probably be best if you just uh, pause the video and read there left and right click buttons rated for 20 million clicks so basically just um, last a uh, lifetime sign mounted sniper button which already uh, had a look at it user configurable weights which you just also track, uh, talked about tracking 465 inches per second and um, Diavago ADNS 9800 laser stream gaming sensor which is the main upgrade from the M60 to the M65. Uh, the reason I actually bought this is to, uh, if you're familiar with my uh, videos, you do know I've got the Corsair 600T Arctic White Edition with um, you know um, individual braided cables in white and uh, the overall theme of the build is white, black and white so uh, I've been waiting to get my hands on these one. Um, according to reviews online, <laughs> as people actually call this the perfect mouse, so I'm um, yet to discover. But yeah, a lot of people calling this the perfect one. So, without further ado, I'm just going to stop the video and uh, unbox and show you the contents inside. Right, so once you remove the packaging, you are basically greeted with a, a mouse and a leaflet with a quick start guide. Just If I just quickly go um, through this. Oh. Just a quick start basically showing you all this, you should know this, it's basically a plug and play and you just download from the directly from the Corsair website all the drivers and the software uh, and uh, also you get a warranty with this and uh, if you're obviously familiar with Corsair products as I've um, been mentioning in all the videos, Corsair um, customer support, second to none, best in business so keep that in mind guys and uh, again going back to the mouse as you can just see there, the dedicated uh, sniper button in red. Um, first thoughts is, you might struggle to reach it. Um, I think I've got not the biggest hands, but quite big hands. And um, you have to stretch just quite a bit to reach that sniper button. So keep that in mind. Um, top of the mouse seems to be a plastic with a gloss effect. Really, really nice with a really nice shine. I don't know how much the camera can pick it up. While the sides, while this side here where the sniper button is, and over the other side, it feels like just a matte white with a plastic with a sort of a rugged um, effect, if anything, like a bit of a sandpaper sort of feel, which is great for grip. While the top is just a nicely gloss, whether this is going to be a problem for um, later on for fingerprint magnets and dirt. But no, obviously, you got the nice braided cable with a blue sort of casing for your USB there which is probably comes handy once you look in the back of your rig you know exactly which one's your mouse which is 
blue one, always good. You got this Velcro strap here, which allows you to organize your cord for your mouse. It's this is actually connected to the wire, so um, you always stay with this, not the ones you actually undo and you lose somewhere. No, it's always stuck to the actual wire, so keep that. To show you the um, packaging, which is quite clever and made by Corsair, instead of just doing a normal square box, they look at this triangle shape and uh, really, really nice if you do care, but I showed you it anyway. But yeah, so uh, there you go. So what I could do now, well, let's have a look at the bottom. Uh, the overall feel and the mouse is just uh, screams quality, at least that's my first thoughts while grabbing it. There's um, a bit of weight to it, but I believe this um, three years you can just undo and you remove weight systems inside which makes it lighter but overall it's just I can I can you just can tell just by grabbing it and uh, that screams quality anyway and um, by the looks of it is uh, an old um, aluminium uh, body shell underneath this um, plastic casing which should be alright for uh, scratching and uh, long term use anyway um, yeah so uh, as you can see just the Corsair logo there let's have a look oh. that's the big chunky scroll wheel and it seems to lock every just move so it's not the ones you, you're going like that and it's just going all over the place now it seems to be a click every time you move it uh, this is the on fly DPI adjustment, so basically minus and more, and while the middle one will just light up the more intensity you give. Again, it's an 8200 DPI sensor, which was just upgraded from the previous one. So, uh, overall, the color is just lovely, lovely white, and uh, I quite like this um, gloss white at the top and the matte one with a creepy thing at the side. Just feels like a rubberized sort of for the side, which is really really good. Again, I must mention the um, sniper button seems to be a bit far away, so you might struggle just to reach it. Um, overall, there is eight um, adjustable buttons which you can configure within the software, which I'll show you. Shall show you um, now. So there you go, that's uh, the mouse actually plugged into the system. You can see there is a blue LED. Unfortunately, uh, within the software, this is not changeable, so you're stuck with the blue, which uh, ideally I really would love to have a red LED. Whether this can be modded or not is um, early days, so um, I'm actually going to find out about this. And um, yeah, so um, overall, um, it tracks really, really well. I don't know. The screen probably won't let me, but you can probably just see my ghost out there. It just seems to track really, really nice. So, yeah, so now we're going to have a look at uh, the actual software and see what we can do with this uh, mouse. Right, so um, as you can see here, we've got loaded up the um, Corsair uh, software for this mouse, as you can see. Uh, obviously over here we can load up whatever profiles we've got. Obviously I just installed it, so there's only one profile, but it allows you to rename and create your own profiles. So, uh, there you go. On and off, which is the LED. Uh, playback, delay options, advanced options, button options, I'm uh, still uh, I don't know what it is. M65 there. Manage performance. Um, obviously, you got the DPI selection here. With uh, having the three is basically the most one. You got a snipe button there, which is already by default at uh, 400 DPI. So uh, there you go. So you can adjust basically your DPI how big you want it. So basically, with one click, you can have it uh, 4,000 if you want, or two lights, two bars, 4,000, three bars maximum. Um, there you go. Surface quality, you can test. So let's show you this to measure, move your mouse around. 
So let's move the mouse around. Real time service quality. So let's see what they say about my mouse pad. Then. So I'm still just moving the mouse about. Let's see what the result is going to be. So it seems to be good, good, lift weight, so basically if you just hold it up, allow you to adjust, if you like to just grab your mouse and just move it about, uh, and that's about it, also let's do your manage profiles, obviously we haven't got one yet, we go back to that, assign buttons, I want to have a look at this, the basic buttons, are you sure you want to program? No, I'm not sure. Advanced options, basic commands, playback, and delay, hardware playback. Oh, that's basically just to load up whatever macros you got on your previous mouse. So I'm assuming it's if you excuse me, got an M60 with already profiles, uh, would allow you to just load them all up. And uh, yeah, so. There you go guys, this is just basically a quick look of the Corsair um, software for this uh, M65. Uh, if anything, the only part you're going to really use is this for manage your performance where you can just save your uh, profiles. Um, yeah, so you want your DPI selection. How many you want there? You adjust your sniper, which by default is down to 400. And uh, angle snapping. You test your surface quality, and there you go. So, uh, there you go, guys. Um, as always, um, this um, wraps up the video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Um, as I've been saying in the late weeks, uh, a lot of people have been subscribed, so it really helps me out a lot. Uh, allows me to bring more content to the channel. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, like, share, you know, comment if you have any questions regarding this. As uh, it's just early days, uh, this is the first time I'm actually testing the mouse. And uh, yeah, just use the comment section below. And um, any questions you got about this or any experience you have, I really wanted to hear about it. To um, or anything I should know about this mouse if you have been using it for a while. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, share, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, catch you guys on now. Uh, the next video. Peace.